In today's Minecraft video, we add the newly announced mangrove swamps to the game already. So welcome back everyone. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. The wild update, huh? We've already added it. Now, when I say we, I mean the Minecraft community. The creator of this is Captain Alingo. There'll be a link down below as to where you can download this for yourself, but also to check out the creator. So please remember that this is a concept. It's also a work in progress. And I actually do have two different add-ons installed. The other one I showed you the other day, which uh, introduces frogs. Yes, frogs and also the beautiful uh, chess boats. But check out this beautiful mangrove swamp. This is only one part of the wild update. So, so far, we know that we're going to have an update to swamps. We're going to get a new type of swamp. It's called the mangrove swamp. We're also going to be getting the so-called change to the birch forest as well, which I'm waiting to find an add-on or a creation for that as well. So, what this does is it introduces the mangrove trees. We actually have the mangrove uh, roots. We also have mud blocks. We also have mangrove logs and leaves and so much more that I need to show you in today's video. As always, if you are enjoying these concept videos, leave a like. I really appreciate it. Now, they just work like any ordinary wood in Minecraft. The only downside is though, when you mine the roots, uh, I actually have no idea how to obtain these. I also have a question. What do you think? the roots should be used for in Minecraft when they are officially introduced. Anyway, we're gonna chop down a tree because I like the wood and of course it can be cut into separate things. The only sad time is it takes forever to break this. Um, like it doesn't matter what kind of uh, material you're using, iron, diamond, netherite, etc. But we're gonna grab a couple of these because they can be broken down into different materials. Okay, I think 56 is enough. Head to a crafting table, you can make a couple of different variations. So we do have the mangrove wood, which is the all-sided variation, uh, which is this one right here. But we have this one, which is just the regular one, which is just the mangrove logs. This is just like, I don't know, I like to call it like the smooth wood types. They look really cool. A lot of people are going to like these for building. Now remember though, the woods are still subject to change at this moment. Now if we just go back to game mode creative, we do in fact have the roots, like I said, um, no idea what these are going to be used for. In fact, I'm going to grab myself some shears because I wonder, I wonder if these can be sheared. So we, uh, shear them. Can they be, no. So I actually have no idea how to obtain them. Let's try, let's try one more thing, right? Let's go to forward slash enchant at P silk touch. Let's try silk touch, right? Go back to game mode survival. Can we silk touch it? No, yes. Okay, so, so far, the mangrove roots, they need to be silk touch. But I'm really curious as to what Minecraft is going to turn these into. And last but not least, we do have the quick, quick, flick creative mode. Uh, the leaf variations as well. And I, I actually really, really like the concept here. Of course, it's going to look a lot different when it is finally introduced to the game. But like uh, every single wood in Minecraft... They can be broken down into material, so you can break this down into planks. You can obviously make the plank. You can obviously make yourself some stairs. You can, in fact, make yourself some slabs as well. So we do have the wood type here. Um, I'm curious on people's opinions behind this. What do you think of this wood? People have said it's like a combination of oak, jungle, acacia. So it does look actually pretty cool, and I can see some really cool builds with this. Let's just go back to creative. And let's grab oak, for example. Uh, I want to grab oak. I want to grab, just to get rid of all these real quick. I want to grab some acacia and I want to gra grab some jungle too. So I want to put them side by side. So we'll go jungle and obviously the color variation is slightly different. But if we just uh, grab like this, this. In fact, I think it would probably be like this, this, and then this. So basically, they're saying that these three make this. It's not a huge difference, though, in terms of the color palette, which I actually really, apart from the top one, which I really, really like. So it's going to be nice to see the combination of um, oak, mangrove, the jungle, uh, and the acacia. But yeah, they can be crafted into these as well. 
This is a mud block. Now, mud blocks make up the majority of this mangrove swamp. And again, this is a work in progress. It's a really, really cool one. Let's gather a bunch of uh, these blocks. And let me show you how cool they are. So I'm hoping when Minecraft introduces this, this is going to be a feature. So you put the mud blocks inside a furnace and it would be smelted down and then you would have like a different variation of it. At the moment, again, this is the concept version. Uh, you have to like do it like this way and then you get the brick variations. But let's make a couple of these because I'll tell you one thing. This is going to be one of my favorite blocks to build with. I'm hoping they're going to do like broken down huts in the wild. Let's see what else we can make with this. So we can make... Yeah, we can make slabs. Um, we can make stairs too? Yeah, we can. Okay. All right. So we've got stairs and we also have the slabs as well. So they look really, really cool. They're obviously the... Uh, oh, that, that triggers me though. That little pixel right there. See that? that that's that's going to annoy me. I don't know what it is, but Minecraft always seems to be off by like one pixel. It's really bothering me. They've done it in caves and cliffs as well and they need to fix it. Regardless of that issue, it's obviously a close relative to the stone brick family. And I really, really like stone brick in Minecraft. In fact, I like this block that much. I went ahead and built myself an in the wood cabin, which is right here. Now, again, I'm hoping that they're going to introduce some kind of structure to these mangrove swamps. Because these, like, the blocks are so good. Now, I'm terrible at building, but the blocks are too good not to be appreciated, in my opinion. So... I'm hoping there's going to be a neighboring structure to a witch hut in here. So I just made this a, a full combination of like, I, I went with this wood as well. I've gone with the mud, we've gone with a campfire as well. Nice little cozy vibe in here, go to sleep. You know, like you, you get the idea behind this. But overall, I'm a huge fan. Of course, let's not forget about the inhabitants in this biome. We're going to have frogs. There's going to be three different variations, but this is a different mods that I'm using compared to this one uh and we also have chess boats too which is this thing and this is one of my well I'm I'm super excited about this feature we're just gonna break all the lily pads so yeah I'm I'm gonna go on an adventure if you guys want to download this for yourself there's a link down below full credit goes to the creator check them out as well and have a nice day wait can I wave in a boat I can't wave in a boat well I guess I'm gonna have to get out and sink and say goodbye have a nice day everybody